So James Wilson steps up. He scored the goal that got us here. Can he score the goal that helps Vale go further? It is Wilson against Ward. Shoots and scores. And pumps the air in satisfaction. It was a well-struck, well-hit penalty. And Vale are one up. Yeah, great pen. Struck, sent him the wrong way. Drilled, passed him with pace. I have to say that you, you, if there's any one player in that Port Vale squad that you fancy from 12 yards to take a penalty with his finishing ability, it's James Wilson. Louis Reed will leave the ball to Jack Payne, who will be the first penalty taker for Swindon Town. Hope Aidan Stone's been watching a bit of Brees Samba from the Forest game earlier on in the week. So, Payne against Aidan Stone for Swindon's first penalty. It's Jack Payne, it's into the back of the net and it's 1-1. Yeah, brilliant penalty, absolutely emphatic. No chance of Aidan Stone getting to that one. Whipped right across the face of goal from Jack Payne into, into the goalkeeper's top left side, you know, before he, Aidan's even across and dived, it's past him. David Worrell makes the long walk from the halfway line to the edge of the penalty area and puts the ball down on the spot to take on Lewis Ward. The Swindon fans behind that goal in fine voice. What will be going through David Worrell's head? Had a great game tonight. Worrell shoots and misses. The goalkeeper saves and pushes it onto the bar. And David Worrell runs back with an impassive look on his face. But he will know that that could cost his team dearly. Swindon lead. I, I, I think the goalkeeper looked like Dave Worrell looks like he's not caught it brilliantly. Goalkeeper goes one way. I think it comes off his knee, ends up ricocheting off, maybe his knee or, or his hand up onto the bar and, and away. But you know, there's, still, there's still a good way to go in this penalty shootout. It's Gladwin against Aidan Stone. Swindon to take a 2-1 lead. Ben Gladwin now with the right foot shoots and scores and Swindon have the advantage here it is so tense Ryan Edmondson now makes that long trudge up towards the penalty spot needs the backing of the fans it's such 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 a it's such an intimidating atmosphere for one so young it, it is you know you, you, you take your hat off to anyone that steps up and and goes forward to take a penalty in these circumstances, uh, particularly the younger lads that will have never felt an atmosphere or, or a nervousness like this. Ryan Edmondson against Lewis Ward, who saved the last penalty. Swindon lead 2-1, Vale need to score. Ryan Edmondson steps up, shoots, and it's saved again by the Swindon goalkeeper. He walks away, he looks at the floor, and now looks at Harry McCurdy, who will go to take a penalty for Swindon Town. It is slipping away. Yeah, yeah he just doesn't catch it well at all, does he? I think he, 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 if the keeper goes that way, you've got to make sure that you, you, you get some real purchase on the ball and put it past him with pace, and he just seems to scuff it along the floor, and, and it's an easy one for the goalkeeper when he goes that way in the end. Swindon lead in the shootout, 2-1. Vale have missed their last two penalties. Harry McCurdy steps up, shoots, and puts it over the bar! And Harry McCurdy, of all people, has egg on his face at Vale Park. He puts the ball over the bar, he didn't think much about it, but he absolutely whacked it into the Swindon fans behind the goal. There's still more to do, but if this Vale don't make it, there will be some small measure of joy to be taken from that. Yeah, I, I think you see the Port Vale uh, fans' reaction that, uh, that if they wanted anyone to miss in the Swindon side, it's Harry McCurdy. Uh, and he, and he, he catch it while he just blasts it over. So, Charles Lee scores. So, it's back to 2-2. But Vale still one down in the grand scheme of things. It's just so tense. It's absolutely horrible. It is. I can't imagine what you you've played at the game, Adam. But to watch, it's. I, I have to say that you know, I, I took been in a penalty shootout in a cup game, never in in a playoff game. I don't think there's much more pressure that you can be under as a player as walking towards that penalty spot in a playoff game, uh, having to to dispatch a penalty to keep your side in it. Louis Reed. 
If Aidan Stone saves this, we're back level again. It is Louis Reed with a very long run up. He's outside the penalty area, trots up to it casually, takes a step, shoots, but does score. Swindon are in the box seat here. I mean, that's a very, very confident penalty for, from Louis Reed. He, you know, he's ambling up, he's waiting for the goalkeeper's movement, sends him the wrong way uh, and puts it into the opposite corner. But pressure really right on, on Tom Pett now. He has to score. Tom Pett has to score for Vale to have any hope of reaching Wembley. Tom Pett, the man who has so much responsibility resting on his shoulders, who's played well tonight, needs to beat Lewis Ward. It is Tom Pett to keep the dream alive. Shoots and scores. What a penalty. Right in the top corner. You know, I was just going to say as we're walking up, you're looking at somebody like Tom Pett, really confident midfielder, comfortable, experienced, you know, comes and gets the ball under pressure no matter where he is on the pitch, and, and that penalty there just shows what type of uh, player and temperament he is. Dispatch it right to the top corner, no chance for, for the swimming goalkeeper. Josh Davidson has to score. Aidan Stone has a chance to make himself a hero. Josh Davidson for Swindon Town, shoots, and Stone saves! What a big save! Tom Conlon, Kian Harrett, Chris Hussey virtually hit the roof on the touchline. It's a massive save from Aidan Stone. We are back level. It is in the lap of the gods, quite literally. What a save from Aidan Stone, he's got, to, he's got to make it, and he does, he dives the right way, strong wrist, punches it wide, back on. Sudden death. Vale have taken five penalties, scored three, missed two. Swindon have taken five penalties, scored three, missed two. It was always going to come down to this, wasn't it? It was always going to be sudden death to even get to the home of football, to even knock on the door. Ben Garrity, the unlikely hero, to take the penalty and emphatically scores! Looks over to the Swindon fans and says, have that. And then marches back to the centre circle. And Ben Garrity, if he'd have hit it any harder, he'd have sent it down the A500. Well, we're just looking at Ben Garrity straight over, he, uh, uh, absolutely doing the right thing, straight over to, to the centre half. Uh, Conroy trying to have a bit of, of, a, of a dig at him, letting him know just how much pressure's on this. We talked about the pressure going up uh, in a penalty shootout in the playoffs, but in a sudden death, scenario this is as much pressure as any player is going to feel I'm running out of space on my pad to write down everything from tonight what I can tell you is is that Dion Conroy has to score to keep Swindon in it Dion Conroy shoots oh and Stone got a hand to it but all he could do was push it into the roof of the net he was very very close to keeping that out was the Vale goalkeeper and now the hometown boy, James Gibbons, strides forward to take a penalty. What will be going through James Gibbons' mind? I, th I think, uh, knowing Gibbo, you know, he'll be, he'll be excited to take it. It won't be, there might be a little bit of nerves, you know, there's bound to be at this point, but you know, he's, the, he's a strong character, Gibbo, he's got big shoulders. He needs a big heart. Gibbons shoots and scores. It's right down the middle. The pressure's back on Swindon. He turns to the Vale fans and says, come on, come on, we can do this. And now Egbo, his opposite number, James Gibbons is on the Swindon team, walks right past him and James Gibbons is just giving him a bit there as he's walked past. Kean Harrett is down on the touchline in front of us, jumping up and down like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader trying to keep his uh, the crowd up and running. I, I, I have to say, I, I, me and Sproey do not fancy the Swindon Eggbo to, to, to dispatch this. Me and, me and Sproey are here thinking, I fancy Aidan Stone to, to save this or to miss the target. Fingers crossed. Eggbo. Egg on his face, maybe. Aidan Stone can be a hero. Eggbo. Runs on the spot, comes up, shoots, but does score. What, oh. do, what do we know? Sprowey, what do we know? You two have played the game, you two should know about these things. So, Mal Benning now is the latest 
to take on the mantle of potential hero. Takes that very lot. Each player who's walked up to there has looked more and more forlorn as they've made that trek from the halfway line. Dare I say he looks nervous? I think every player will be, will be nervous, you know, looking nervous, being nervous. Every player will be nervous as walking up. Benning against Ward. Mal Benning shoots and scores emphatically. Every single player who's taken the penalty looks as if they've just won the lottery. Ian Dolo now, it will fall to, to take a penalty. Everyone is on their feet. Everybody in the entire stadium is stood up and they cannot take their eyes off this. Ellis Ian Dolo, arguably Swindon's best player in this second leg, goes up to take this penalty against Aidan Stone. Let's just hope that left foot of his is a little bit more damaged than, than, he, than we thought it was during the game, the back end of the game. Ian Dolo with the penalty, shoots, and over the ball! They are going to Wembley! Port Vale are in the playoff final! They will go to the home of English football to contest a place in League One! The pitch has been invaded, but it's not this pitch that Vale have got to worry about! It is the pitch at Wembley Stadium a week on Saturday where Port Vale will stride out to win a place in League One. They have beaten Swindon Town on penalties. The place has absolutely exploded. The Vale are going to Wembley.